Hey everyone, I'm Mayfix1210, and today I got a couple more mods for you. This time for the 75320 Snow Trooper Battle Pack. Getting right into it, the real problem in this set is really just that E Web turret there. It's kind of clunky looking, and it's not that very awesome looking, if you know what I mean. Stud shooters really do kill it, even the new ones, which look much better. Anyways, what you're going to want to do for this set is really just take off that little stud shooter on the top there. And then replace it with this little build here with these two parts. Just make it look like it has like a scope or something looking down. Then there's going to be a slight mod to the barrel just to make it look a little bit more screen accurate. And actually have this kind of like dome that the actual barrel has. It's much more pronounced than it is on the current Lego model. Then finally on the sides of the E-Web turret here, I just add some jumper plates there. One, so that way there's a nice place to connect our little power pack, which we'll build in a second. And two, just to kind of smooth it off just a little bit. It makes it look a little bit bulkier, but it is supposed to be a big, powerful gun, so I think it makes it look better. And it just kind of smooths it off like the real E-Web turret. And then I add this little cheese slope on the back here, kind of make it look like it has like a shoulder pad or something there, just to kind of, you know, absorb the shock of it firing onto the minifigure which I think just makes it look a little bit more interesting. Next, I decided to build this little power pack for the E-Web, because in Star Wars, if these turrets don't have this power pack, they literally don't have any power to fire. Well, unless... Anyway, to fix our powerless E-Web turret here, all you're going to need is some parts you see on screen here. It's a very tiny build, and I recommend a printed part on the side here. And with that, you have your upgraded and powered E-Web turret. Now, the other two builds in this set are also very great. The speeder itself, I don't want to touch because I just think it's as good as it can be as it is. It's a good speeder build. And the snowbank here is a very high quality snowbank. It's got the Wampa seal of approval guaranteed. But this terrain build could be just a bit more interesting. So I took some studs with the holes in them and some fire pieces and just made it look like a little bit more of a live battlefield rather than just a snow trench. And I just think it looks a little bit more like lively and actually being used if it's got some just some fire and explosion in it and it looks like it's directly from the Battle of Hoth. If you want to build the little explosion bit that I have here, I'll show a stop motion for that in just a sec. And of course the parts are in the description down below. Otherwise, that's all the mods I got for this set. It's a very good set and a very good battle pack. Well, unless we're talking about the price, then... What? How can you do this? Yeah, 20 bucks isn't too great, but it's better than no battle pack for the time being. I do hope they bring it back down to 15 though. Otherwise, I hope you all enjoyed the mod video. I hope you enjoyed the mods. Again, there's a part list in the description down below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. For more mod videos, animations, and other LEGO videos coming to the channel very soon, don't forget the notification bell so that way you get notified when those videos come out. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like. And until next time, everybody, keep on building.